Hello, welcome to Lenton Station. Hello, welcome back. This week we're going to go through fitting my tortoise point motors, fitting my NCEGIS point decoders, and fitting my bus bars. So we'll get straight into it, and I'll uh, hand you over to me. As you can see here, I've gone round and glued all of the tortoise point motors to the board. This I used hot glue from a glue gun. Now all I've got left to do is just go through and wire all the feeders to the switches and wire all the frogs to the switches that are on the point motors. As you can see here I've gone through and I've now wired all the frogs and the feeders up to the switches on the motors. I have used these little Wago connections that you can get. Uh, these came with the previous layout. I just need now need to work out where the decoders are going to go. Then also work out where my bus bars are going to go. Here as you can see I am working out where the decoders are going. Just trying to place them in uh, reasonable places. As you can see I've put some of them on this 2mm foam board. It's actually how they came off the other layout so I thought well uh, why not carry on doing it. As you can see just working out where the last one's going to sit just there I think. So then to get these decoders to stick to this 2mm foam board. I use hot glue. Just roll some stuff. Bought this from B&M. It's just a cheap little glue gun. I get the two little bits. Well, obviously, I've cut the foam board previously. I get the little bits of foam board and oh, just apply a little bit of glue onto the board, as you can see, and then just apply the NC decoder to the outside. This then just gives you a little bit of protection. I then just glue this straight onto the bare baseboard in the position I want it to be. It just makes it a little bit easier for when you're putting the wires in apparently from what I've been told. But I'll just leave you with this while I do the rest. decoders glued in place ready for them all to be wired in now as you can see here I have uh, wired up all the motors to the decoders I have put my bus bars in place it has tidied the wiring up no end If you look closely, you'll be able to also still see the Wago connectors on the left hand corner of the screen there. These Wago connectors are in all the positions that I will be putting my block detection modules in. As I said before, those Wago connectors, they just came from the previous layout. They are good for like holding wires together just before you want to put them anywhere. The bus bars I got off Amazon. The NCE decoders I got, as I said before, from the previous layout, as well as the tortoise point motors. I'll pass back to me on the computer. Well, there we go then. Hopefully you've been able to see how I've wired my motors, my decoders and my bus bars. As you can see, the layout's still on inside behind me. Uh, just got a few little tidying up bits to do and then it'll be coming back down and I'll be working on the next board. So, thank you very much for watching, 
if you've really enjoyed what you've watched and you want to see more please hit that subscribe button if you've got any more comments uh, any anything i've done anything wrong then please do leave them in the comment section below uh, please do give the video a thumbs up as it helps with youtube's algorithms and i'll catch you in the next video thanks bye bye